Hello and welcome to a Unity 3D quick tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do this basically. So this can be useful in games where you want mysterious objects, mystic objects, stuff like that. I'm going to show you how to rotate objects basically like, like you would in the editor, a bit like that but using the script instead of an animation because scripting is a, a lot like it, it's just smoother than it would be if it was an animation so it's frankly it's easier as well so I'm just gonna set up the new project and I'll be back in a minute alright then so make a new script a new C sharp script just call it rotate or whatever you want to call it really open it up and then you can get rid of the start void because we're never going to need it and you can get rid of the annotations there now we're going to make a variable not a variable sorry we're in um, C sharp we're going to make a public and uh, game object we're going to call this item 1 now we're just going to if you only have one then you can just name it item or whatever you want to call it but because I've got 8 I'm going to make 8 actually I'll just for the sake of the tutorial I'll just do 2 so 1 and 2 there we go, in the void, this is the simple coding. Oops. I don't know. No. Oh. Didn't know hashtag was something. But okay. And um, we're going to do transform. Uh, transform with a little T. Sorry, now we're going to need to do item first. Item 1 dot transform. And um, dot rotate open brackets vector 3 dot right space and the times button which is the little star I forgot what it's called and time dot delta time times speed closing brackets and a semicolon Make a new line, do the same, except instead of having item 1, put item 2. Up here, we're going to make a new integer, so we're going to do public int, and then we're going to do speed uh, equal 1. There we go. Come out of that, make a new game object, um, like so call it rotate or whatever you want to call it drag the rotate script onto it and then drag your items that you want to do there into item 1 and 2 just going to get rid of the others and that one so 1 and 2 so now when we go like that as you can see the turning but it's very slow now we're going to change this to about 60 and as you can see it's going pretty quick but that doesn't look very mysterious that's just that's just like going to the left we want to make it look like a very strange object so we're going to pretty much type out the same thing but I'm just gonna copy and paste it and instead of, instead of having um, transform rotate vector right vector 3 right we're gonna put up instead or you can put down if you want we'll put down actually let's try down I did up last, last time sorry about the clicking it's annoying I know Um. Not clicking the buzzing. Endless. 
Das war ja das. Oh god. Okay, hopefully that stops it. If it doesn't, I'll just have to put a bit of background music on that's pretty quiet. Just so that you can't hear the annoying buzzing noise until I figure it out. So that's pretty much it. We need to change speed to speed up or speed down, technically. And we'll create a new integer. No, I didn't. I had a feeling that won't work. I would just call it speed down. There we go. Right. Come out of that. Go back into the game object. And we're going to make this go twice as fast, so 120. That doesn't work. Okay. We'll put 80. So there you go, as you can see, it's no longer just transforming, and it's no longer rotating on the right axis, on the, um, I think, X, is it, I don't know, I think it might be X, there you go, it's actually rotating on the mole. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think, and yeah, see you in the next one.